Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Rachel Young Kunis. The Jewish community celebrated the first night of Hanukkah tonight, and Lancaster the celebration meant even more after an act of vandalism over the weekend. Fox 43's Harry Lee joins us live from the city's menorah with more. Well, Hanukkah itself began with an act of anti-Semitic vandalism. And tonight, the Lancaster Jewish community is facing another. This menorah was found badly damaged on Saturday morning. But today, the Jewish community says they refuse to let that act of darkness extinguish their Hanukkah light. <laughs> The wind may have blown out some of the Hanukkah candles, but not the sense of unity. Let our light shine together as a community with no shadow that can overtake us. For this night, we will light the first candle. The lighting comes after the menorah was vandalized over the weekend. And it's hard. It was, I was in tears when I first saw the menorah. The ER end of Lancaster was then forward and down. And some of the letters that spell out Lancaster on the bottom were also bent forward. It's unclear if the damage was motivated by anti-Semitism, but the Jewish community refused to let that darken the holiday. We've come to add light to the world instead. And so our eight days represent light and joy, holiness and community. The menorah was repaired enough to continue with lighting the first night's candles. Even with it being damaged, the message of tonight with hundreds and hundreds of people here, Jews, non-Jews, tells us that we're safe, even, even in the midst of some people who want to harm us. Hundreds of people filled the square in solidarity. Everybody's got mixed emotions, right? I mean, it's very, it's very disappointing, but it brought more people out, I think. The lightings will continue for all eight days with planned visits from Christian clergy and elected officials. Police do not have a suspect for the vandalism, but as the menorah is in front of a bank, there is security camera footage and that is expected to become available tomorrow. Live in Lancaster, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.